हॅलो आय एम अंकिता राऊत आय हॅव क्रिएटेड दिस व्हिडिओ टू पुट फोर्थ माय अंडरस्टँडिंग ऑफ ह्युमन एकोनो नाको कोरोनी मेटा वर्ल्ड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सप्लेनेशन आय वॉन्ट टू थँक रिओ किशी झिरो सेवन द ऑथर ऑफ ह्युमन एकोनो नाको कोरोनी फॉर मेकिंग सच अ ग्रेट स्टोरी आय वुड ऑल्सो लाईक टू थँक यूट्यूब युजर नोन नो मोर फॉर क्रिएटिंग ह्युमन एको स्टोरी एक्सप्लेनेशन व्हिडिओज because of those videos i got a better understanding of humineco's story i want to first start with humineco's concept of which is in wikipedia it is written that in the world of humineco no nako koroni which is are classified by the type of magic they are able to use the most recurring type of magic in humineco is endless magic which grants the witches the power to break and repair anything infinitely including human lives even with this power endless witches and all other witches of a lower class are very limited beings as they are bound to certain territories and unable to use their powers outside of them witches who gain the ability to move into other territories called fragments such as burn castle and lambda delta are known as voyagers to whom few other witches can compare though their sense of worth is often deterred and they are even at the risk of losing their souls on their voyages which they often hope will be endless which is of an even higher order are creators beings who hold the ability to create something from nothing voyagers are said to become creators at the end of their journeys which they fear for unknown reasons so from magical perspective the lowest ones are the endless witches who are powerful but can use powers only within their territory like beatrice superior to them are voyagers who have the ability to move into other territories like burn castle and lambda delta and the most powerful witches are the creators creators have the ability to create something from nothing like feathery augustus aurora but if we look at it from real world perspective territories means books endless witches are the main characters of their book beatrice was the main character of her book on rokenjima murders voyagers are the readers who read one book after another to cure their boredom burn castle and lambda delta are those readers creators are the authors who write books like ikiko hachijo readers can one day become authors although i doubt ikiko hachijo's cat can read but since she is considered a part of the story so i will keep her visual appearance of meta world in yumineko's meta world the characters are mostly shown drinking tea and discussing about the murders taken place on rokenjima island on on october 4th and 5th 1986 most people have accepted the existence of meta world in human echo but i believe that meta world is an imagination of a little girl and who is this little girl it is none other than lambda delta lambda delta everywhere it is shown that lambda delta is a witch with magical powers but i personally do not believe it i think lambda delta is a school girl who likes reading books i realized this while reading manga of chapter 8 twilight of the golden witch this is a page of the manga where lambda delta says that she has to get up early to go to school tomorrow and in another page she admits that she is just a spectator and the people in humaneco are nothing more than characters to her lambda delta is the main observer of humaneco even in humaneco story it is several times told that lambda delta's role is to see what is going on in the story she is present since the beginning and till the end and almost everything happening in humaneco story is under lambda delta's observation so i can assume that the meta world's tea party and the different magical characters shown 
are Lambda Delta's imagination. She reads Yumineko's story while drinking tea. She gets so involved in the story, she imagines that Butler, Beatrice, and Birken Burncastle are sitting with her, drinking tea and discussing about the murders. She imagines herself, Burncastle, and Ikiko Hajijo as powerful witches. Erika Furudo. Erika Furudo is shown as a detective who tried to investigate Rokenjima murders. I believe this is true. Erika Furudo is a living person and not a magical or imaginary character. I know the thing which I am going to say now is difficult to digest and I would face a lot of criticism from Yumineko fans for this statement. But still, I believe Erika Furudo, Ikiko Hachijo and Witch Burn Castle are the same person. Erika Furudo is the younger version of Ikiko Hachijo. She found an injured battler in 1986. She took care of battler. She was fond of mysteries. So she decided to investigate about the Rokenjima incident. Since battler had lost his memories, he couldn't tell accurately what had actually happened on those days of the murders. But whatever he remembered, he told Ikiko and she wrote about it and published the books. Detectives of Yumineko These are the people shown as detectives in Yumineko. I believe they all are living people. Lanner and Knox and Willard H. Wright actually exist in real world. But their true form is not shown in Yumineko story. They are only shown in their witch form. Erika Furudo and Lanner and Knox together investigate the Rokenjima murders and try to put forward their theory to explain the reasons behind the murders. Those theories are written in the stories of Episode 5, The End of Golden Witch and Episode 6, Dawn of the Golden Witch. Willard H. Wright Willard H. Wright is a professional detective. He is sent on a mission to investigate the story of Beatrice. Through his investigation, he finds out about Italian Beatrice, that is Beatrice Castiglione, and her daughter, Quadorian Beatrice, that is Beatrice Yoshiromia. He even does detailed investigation about the child who was thrown off the cliff by Natsuhi. He gives this information to which Burn Castle, that is Ikiko Hachijo. Ikiko then writes a story about it and names it Episode 7 Requiem of the Golden Witch. Episode 8 Twilight of the Golden Witch In this story, Anjay Yushiromiya is the detective. She has read Eva Yushiromiya's diary and doesn't want to accept the death of her family members. So she imagines that she went to Rokenjima in 1986. Everyone in her family is happy and celebrating. Which Burn Castle, that is Ikiko Hachijo, tries to explain Anjay that her family is dead and won't ever return. But she doesn't accept it. Also, Lambda Delta, who got emotionally involved in the Rokenjima story, doesn't want to accept their death. So she supports Anjay and goes against Witch Burn Castle, that is Ikiko Hachijo. Fascinated with Anjay and Lambda Delta spirit, Ikiko Hajijo gives them both roles in her final book on Rokenjima murders, namely Episode 8, Twilight of the Golden Witch. And instead of revealing the truth to the world, Ikiko Hachijo writes a dramatic story on end of Beatrice. That's why Episode 8 is all about happy Ushiromiya family, goat butlers that is common people destroying the story of magic, Erika Furudo fighting the Yushiromiya family and Lambda Delta, Anjay and Battler fighting Witch Burn Castle. In short, Episode 1, Legend of the Golden Witch, Episode 2, Turn of the Golden Witch, Episode 3, Banquet of the Golden Witch and Episode 4, Alliance of the Golden Witch are Battler's story. Episode 5, End of the Golden Witch, Episode 6, Dawn of the Golden Witch are Erika Furudo and Lanner and Knox's story. Episode 7, Requiem of the Golden Witch is Willard H. Wright's story. Episode 8, 
ट्वाइलाइट ऑफ द गोल्डन विच इज एंजेस एलैमडा डेल्टास एनिकी को हचीजो स्टोरी देर इज वन लास्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू एड टू दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन इट इज पैटलर एंड एरिकाज वेडिंग शोन इन एपिसोड सिक्स डॉन ऑफ द गोल्डन विच आई बिलीव दैट मे बी इधर इकी को हची जो डेवलप फीलिंग्स फॉर बैटलर दे हैव बिन टुगेदर सिंस अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड मे बी शी विश टू मैरी हिम सो शी पर्पजली एडेड द वेडिंग पार्ट इन द स्टोरी और लैमडा डेल्टा थॉट दैट दे मेक अ ग्रेट कपल एंड शी इमेजिन द वेडिंग सेरेमनी दिस इज द एंड ऑफ माई एक्सप्लेनेशन आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो दिस इज द फर्स्ट एवर वीडियो आई क्रिएटेड Please feel free to share your opinions in the comment section. Thank you.